Hello everyone, this is Ginger Pana here on YouTube. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I would like to do a share with you on a hop that I'm participating on. It is the Mason Jar Love Affair. And Mason Jars are so... There, there's so many things that you can do with Mason Jars, whether it be a real Mason Jar, uh, paper crafting home decor you name it mason jars are in all of our homes and so today i am participating in a youtube hop hosted by tina who is tell him thank you here on youtube she is she has put together a hop of seven awesome crafters and i will link all of them below and so go to each of our channels to see what we have created with our mason jars so in this hop, of course, Tina, our host, tell him thank you. Amador, who is Amador Crafts and Things. Christina, who is Crafty Paws. Jill Norwood, Marilyn G. Veronica, who is VL Ballin 1. And me, Ginger Pana. And so I am videotaping this on Friday night. I'm going to try to upload it and save it. Um, the hop is tomorrow, Saturday. 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, which is 5 a.m. my time. So um, that means I would have to get up like at 3 a.m. to start loading this thing up. So I think I'm going to try to um, program it so it loads on time. If not, don't worry. I may be the last to the picture, but you will see my video up. So without further ado, let's get into my hot share. So we were to make two projects of any type oops sorry of any type of mason jar projects that we wanted to do whether it be paper crafting um, 3d home decor you name it it was wide open for us so here is my first project I decided to alter a frame and I got these frames from uh, Daiso and as you know if you follow me on Instagram and YouTube Daiso opened up about a year ago in Hawaii That's where I live in Hawaii on the island of Oahu and um, To this date that we have two locations of Daiso stores and I love to go to that store So anyways, I went and I found these um, Sorry for the glare these uh, these frames. They come in different types of finishes Okay and then I found, I, I had these cut aparts, these wood cut aparts in my stash. And I think they are from, I think I got these from Walmart. But I think my local craft store also carries them. And I'm sure some of the local craft stores will also carry them. So I decided to alter the frame. So what I did was I put background paper in the background. I painted my mason jar pink. I used the... Um, and I believe I got this from Target. Okay. This is called Cherry Blossom. It's a satin finish. And so I painted it a couple of times. And then I used my Glitterific. And I brushed the glitter all over the jar. And I, before that, I adhered, these are um, thickers, so I spelt out the word pray. And I'm going to put this up on my desk to remind myself, well, I don't really need to get, well, I always do it every day. But just to see the word pray reminds me that this is something for us to draw close to God. And it's very important for me to pray every single day to thank him and to pray about all kind of things that I need to talk to him about. And so this is um, the frame that I'm going to leave up in my space. So I love butterflies. There is a lace piece under here. And I did a assortment of flowers. And I also put glitterific on it with the leaves. And I put a butterfly. And I think these flowers are from Recollections. And I bought them from a sale that they had and I think my friend Jennifer also helped me purchase some of the flowers um, and sent them to me okay so this is my first project it is a easel picture frame okay next I would like to share is my I uh, before I go to my next share 
I love doing digitals. Um, so I have these digitals in my on my computer in my downloads and I bought them from here. Can you see it? So she has some great digitals in all different kinds of shape. And it's kind of vintage, shabby looking. And I also bought these really big mason jars. And of course you can always print and resize them. But this is true to print, I believe. And then this is also true to print. Okay, the size. So what I did was I fussy cut them out. And I cut two of the large jars out. And I made this gift bag. Okay, and I'm into the Poco Doodle Girls now. So I fussy cut out all the girls. And I will link this line down below. I can't remember. There's so many Winnie collections. And so the printables also came with this banner, scallop banner. So I print, I cut this out too. And so I cut it out and then I colored, you know, sponged the edges so the raw edges would be a little bit cleaner. And then I glued it to a paper bag. And this paper bag I bought from Daiso. Okay, and I, it's a really nice size. It's cute. What I did was I cut it down so that it fits right onto the um, top of the jar without showing up at the edges. You just can see it down here because um, unless I find a way to fold it in, it just peaks here. But it's okay. And I just decorated with some embellishments that I had in my stash. This is a crepe paper flower. And I saw a YouTube video on how to make these. And if I can find it, I'll link below. But I made it so long ago that I'm not too sure if I can find it. But there are a lot of tutorials out there. These are all chipboard pieces. This is a sticker that I put on a cardstock. And I adhered it here and it kind of flutters. And the back of this one is very plain. I just did a cut apart and I left it plain. I did do the scallop. And this clip, you can put any kind of clip. You can put a ribbon around it to close it. You can put a Velcro dot on the top. I use this paper clip that I shared in a past video. I bought this from Jody, who is Home and Hearts here on Instagram. And she does pop-up sales and I love buying a lot of her paper clip dangles. So this is one of them. Okay, and inside it's pretty roomy. So I just have some little treats from Melaleuca in here. And see how, how I just cut it where the top stops and then it folds like this. So this is my gift bag that I made. And I also made this one. The same um, concept except a different jar. And I did cut out part the scallop. I made this um, tool bowl and this is another bowl that I just layered. And this is some word stickers that I had, another Poco Doodles gal, and some chipboard flowers that I had in my stash. Okay, and this one I also decorated the back because I'd already glued it together, so I figured I'd just finish it off. Okay, same concept. And here I have a paper clip with a rose on it, a resin rose, and I just have some goodies in here. And I, it's just, th these are just my supplies, my confetti supplies. I just want to put something in to show you how it would look filled. So this is my gift bags that I made. Secondly, with the other cut aparts that I showed you earlier, I made these vintage embellishments. And I fussy cut them out, I did a twine on the top, and I did some wooden embellishments. And this is another cut apart that came with the jars. The scallop also came with the jars. Okay, now some of them I cut another um, lid and I popped it up to give it some dimension to it. These just have little flowers with a wooden heart. And this one is plain just to show you that, um, you know, you could embellish it any way you want to. And this one I did add glossy accents to the cover so it looks a little shiny. Okay, and they're just plain in the back so you could just use them as embellishments and pop them onto something. Um, the other embellishments, so my second share is making embellishments with um, mini mason jars. So the other one that I did were these shaker mason jars. 
so they are so cute I use the lawn fawn it's the mason jar shaker and I also have the stamp set and this addition it comes with I think two different um, die sets and a stamp a stamp matching stamp set okay but what I did was I used the shaker cuts the dies and I made this so this has 110 I cut it out I think five times and I layered it to make it really stiff I used an acetate piece and it's a shaker and here's the back it's just plain so you can always use it as a tag right on the back I just have some fuzzy yarn attached to the top um, a hey there sticker and some flowers for my stash okay so this is one and this is the second one it's kind of fallish I don't observe Halloween and so with fall being here I love fall and so I decided to do a fall shaker okay and I use some flowers in my stash and this is a fall paper line I think they're this is an Echo Park, a new paper from Echo Park. Can I use a twine on the top to make it more fall looking? Okay, so with these embellishments, you can do things like um, put it on a little note card, a 3x3 note card, or you can get maybe a small pizza box. This is from Stampin' Up! And so I think this is 3x3 in size. And so you can just you know cover put designer paper or what have you and stick the embellishment right on top so it makes a really cute um, gift to put something in okay so there's a lot of things that you can do to um, use these kind of embellishments all right so I as you know I went over the two that we were required to make so I don't want to take too long because you got to go and visit all the seven uh, crafters uh, video channels here is the next one I made a gift card holder and this is using my punch board and I will link uh, the tutorial below it is by Mei Mei made it she did a tutorial on this gift card holder and what I really like was the way she did the lid and so um, this is with the, that um, corrugated tool that you can send your paper through so I had some silver cardstock and I embellished the front this one of them and these are so easy to make this is another one using a heart rosette and a poco doodles girl okay now um, what I did in the front like this one is one-sided so I wrapped some twine around and when you open it you can have a gift card in there but as you can see it's just a one-sided paper so what I did was I decorated the bottom part so when you open it you kind of have a sentiment you can also write something on the back here you're uh, saying I think Mamie puts a sticky dot on the back of the gift card um, so it doesn't fall out but if you tie it tight enough it shouldn't but this holder does pop out on the bottom you see so I think the whole idea is not to lose it in transit so she puts a little uh, removable dot in the back which is a great idea okay now this one is uh, a two-sided paper and so there is a design in here so you can always use it to write in but this one I just have uh, my um, social media card in it okay so that is my gift card holder share and okay so next I have that was one two three four okay so my next share I am into I'm starting to learn how to do candle making and it's using the soy wax and I made, I poured some uh, soy wax candle in here and I used, I have two kinds of wicks. I have this wooden one and I also have the um, one with the cotton core. Okay, so it looks like this. See, so I'm getting my supplies off of Amazon until I can find a better 
source of getting um, supplies for my candles but I think I'm gonna try to make some for the holiday season coming up so what I did was I used this half pint mason jar that came in a set of four okay so it has the ball logo on it I didn't use um, this cover here uh, you can place it here you can cover it with paper and then put the cover on and your recipient can take it apart take off this and you know put the rim back on just for decoration or you can always put lace around you know you can put trimmings on it but you have to watch what you put on it because when this thing is on flaming you don't want any of your materials to catch on fire so I kept it very plain um, it does have a scent in it and what I did was I buy a lot of pure essential oils from Melaleuca and um, so I would put this whole bottle in um, and I made this bat this candle here and this little one okay so it takes a lot of scented uh, essential oils to scent I didn't play with the colors yet because um, my cup for me didn't work I'm gonna try to order some um, dyes to color my uh, wax my soy wax so anyways I just poured a plain one when you burn it it does have a scent I'm learning a lot about candles there is a ton of tutorials on YouTube if and when I do master and get better at this I will come back and share the things that I make with my candle my designs okay and that is my mason jar handmade goodies that I wanted to share with you today um, before I go I just wanted to show you some other mason jar things that I have around my room that I look at that really inspire me and one of them is this mason jar it was a favor at my best friend's daughter's wedding she threw a shower and she used the mason jar and this is a really good idea so it was a summer wedding well sort of a summer wedding and I guess so August and she put a um, twine with beads on it and inside all she did and I think she told me she got some of these things at Target when at the dollar spot I, I believe so she she bought these things she tied it up really nicely she put some uh, drinks in here so you can make your own drinks and maybe just add water in here put your straw in and you have a very refreshing drink so that's a really good idea um, mason jars are really great in um, people making drinks in them okay so that was one idea the other idea is I bought this years ago at a craft store isn't this adorable it's a unicorn and it's a bank I never used it I just keep it on display so the bottom is glittered the eye eyelashes are painted on the whole bottle is painted in this ombre pink pink and white and there is such a cute decoration here on the top with this horn I think she made it because this is all wire on here so cute isn't that adorable so this is another inspiration that I keep on my shelf so when I look at it I, it makes me smile mason jars are also used in um, holding and organizing your craft supplies and I love them because they are see-through and you can see exactly what's in it now this one I found I think at DJ, TJ Maxx and I bought them in different sizes but it was hand painted so they were all sunflowers on them so it was so beautiful I bought the I think there was two or three so I bought them but in here you know you just put all I was on this thing about buying all these wooden hearts <laughs> um, I think some of my crafty friends sent me some and I ended up ordering a whole bag and I paid like ten dollars for them to ship it to me but anyways I have hearts oodles of hearts okay and then next is another mason jar these are not really mason jars where they are um, they have the ball on it or any engraving but they're kind of mason jar ish so I love these with the twist tops and here I have 
for my son's and daughter-in-law's wedding i was i bought all of these from the target dollar spot so i have all these white hearts so i love the mason jars because they are see-through and you can see your supplies in them so i put it on a shelf and then whenever i need to get supplies i can just grab it so that's another idea um, for using mason jars okay everyone this is my love affair with mason jars i really hope you enjoyed watching um, my shares what i made please hop on over to all the other crafters i will link them below and they are great crafters you know i was a little stressed because you know <laughs> they're so awesome crafters and i just want i wanted to do a good job so i really hope you enjoy um everything that i made for you for you today to share i am having a giveaway you do have to be a subby to all seven crafters i will check and you have to also comment on each video on the hop and please leave us great comments uh, we hope we, we inspire you i'm sure we will so leave us some comments and i will give it i'm not too sure what the other late uh the other crafters are doing but I will watch them as well and I think I will give it uh, maybe about four days or so and I will go back and I will pull a winner and at that time I will show you what my price package will be but just a sneak peek I might add in some of my digital uh, supplies maybe to make the basics of this bag I'll give you some of the supplies for the bag and the the digital I'll cut it out okay and then um, let's see and you know maybe some others oh I think I'm gonna throw in this frame set so you can embellish it your own okay so you can paint it and embellish your frame in your own way and put a thing on it that really inspires you I am probably going to add some of my embellishments and my gift card holder in it so you can use it. I am I'm a Daiso. I guess I'm a Daiso person right now because I love going to the store. So some of the prizes will be this um, thread in different colors, um, either a natural color or a um, pastel color. This is also from Daiso. It is a mason jar cut. And you can use it for cookies, but you can also use it for um, clay. I, As I said, I don't do Halloween, but I do have this beautiful fall wreath die and stamp set. I do have some mason jar bags. This is not from Daiso. This is from a local craft store. This is from Daiso. It's some mason jar Ziploc bags. And to play around, I also will include uh, about three packs of this felt. And this is from Daiso. And it, it's really uh, soft and it cuts really well, but maybe you can use it in some of your fall projects. Okay. And I'm not sure. Um, I will. I have this embellishment box and it's really good at it lifts up like this and I don't think they sell it anymore I haven't seen it come back to Daiso but um, this will be in it too and I might put some little goodies in here okay everyone so that is it thank you once again for coming Tina thank you so much for hosting this wonderful hop I really had fun and um, I wish you all a great weekend and I will see you really soon bye